Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends in this video we will discuss shunt resistance it is used always in the series of the load to measure some current as we use ampere meter ammeter to measure the current so basically we are applying a shunt resistance to measure the current the complete system current will flow through this shunt resistance and we will measure the dropped voltage across this shunt resistance and it is a function of ammeter if it is using analog multimeter it is using a coil to display amount of current in digital electronics we apply this voltage to some operational amplifier for on inverting or non inverting input and then these voltage are applied to some adc analog to digital converter then to microcontroller and then to display in inverter dc inverter technology or in welding machines or any power supplies where we have to monitor the current this current value is measured and it is applied to some error amplifier some operational amplifier and this amount is applied to microcontroller some any type of controller and it will measure and it will verify this amount of current to maintain the good operation it is used for the equipment safety so let's discuss in detail if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and press bell icon button to receive notifications for my new uploads what is shunt resistance we can say it is a parallel path to some electrical circuit for example i will draw a circuit with positive and negative battery we can say we have a voltage source normally when we connect a load for example it is 10 volt source and here we have rl i can say it is 5 ohm so current will flow electronic current will flow from negative to positive if we discuss conventional current that will flow from positive to negative end so i will discuss electronic current how much current will flow from here i is equal to according to ohm's law v over r we have 10 volt and resistance is 5 ohm so it is 2 ampere so 2 ampere current will flow from battery negative terminal to positive terminal from the load resistance it is the first condition if we want to measure this current in normal ways we use a ampere meter in series so it is 5 ohm it is 10 volt load how much current will flow from this ampere meter it will show 2 ampere in any ampere meter what we do i will use equivalent circuit this is 5 ohm rl in any ampere meter there is a shunt resistance we use a very low ohmic value resistance that is temperature stabilized its temperature coefficient is good so it will not, its resistance will stable at wide range of temperature and it is calibrated it is very low ohmic value so it is current sense resistor so current will flow from this shunt resistance its resistance is in milli ohm for example its resistance is 5 milli ohm we can say 0.05 ohm now we added a very light amount of resistance in series of this load so that is a shunt resistance so now 5 plus 0.05 ohm it is 5.05 ohm now the total load current 10 volt divided by 5.05 ohm amount of current will 1.9801 ampere so it is very close to this range but to take a benefit we must have to connect a shunt when this current will flow it will cause to drop voltage across this shunt so we have 0 0.05 ohm resistance voltage drop across this resistance the amount of shunt and amount of current multiply it 1.9801 so 0 0.099 shunt resistance voltage 0 0.099 volt or we can say 99 millivolt will drop here 
and across this resistance 5 multiply by amount of current 5.9801 9.9 9 volt will drop across this RL these 0 0.099 volt are applied to a voltmeter basically any ampere meter have this technique either we are using a ampere meter we are using a digital meter to measure amperes or we are using digital panel meter analog panel meter to measure current basically we apply all the current to a shunt resistance and second end is connected to the load so all the current must have to pass through this shunt resistance and the dropped voltage across this shunt will apply to this voltmeter actually all ampere meters have same phenomena to display analog as a needle meter or we can take a readout in any analog multimeter we have a permanent magnet outside and we have a coil amount of this voltage will change the magnetic field here if there is no current flowing it will show zero permanent magnet have north and south and how much current is flowing it will generate a magnetic field here this magnetic field here will change and the resultant magnetic field attracting or opposing to north and south poles it will change the needle to show some reading which will exactly same amount of the voltage which we are applying to this coil or we are using operational amplifier to amplify it so this 0 0.099 volt or 99 millivolt to non-inverting or inverting it is it depends upon the designing technique then these voltage are applied to ADC analog to digital converter then some microcontroller sometimes this ADC function is built in in the microcontroller amount of the dropped voltage will apply to some operational amplifier operational amplifier will amplify this amount of voltage to some ADC analog to digital converter to microcontroller and it will display some data on display for digital for analog it will show here digital it will show here now we will discuss how the shunt resistance works in some circuits I have some inductive load it is a motor I can say it is a compressor motor we have IGBT then we have a shunt resistance here we apply these voltage it is 10 volt 20 volt 300 volt for example in inverter AC board we are using 300 volts this circuit will drive this motor it will take pulses for example it will take a 15 volt pulse to drive the gate and this IGBT will switch this 300 volt output this is output this IGBT will give 300 volt to this motor this compressor the current will flow from here for example its inductive reactance is 100 ohm it is example because it, it is inductive load so XL 2 pi FL frequency in Hertz and inductance the total resistance for example the XL, XL inductive reactance we can say 100 ohm so 100 ohm load and we applied a shunt 0 0.05 ohm or 50 milli ohm now the standard current if the compressor motor is good everything is good so this 100 ohms load plus 0 0.05 it is 100.05 so total amount of resistance from this point to this point is 100.05 we have source voltage 300 volt i is equal to v over r 2.9985 so normal current 2.9985 ampere when the current will flow according to Ohm's law some voltage will drop across this resistance voltage drop across this resistance will V is equal to I into R amount of current is 2.998 and amount of resistance is 0 0.05 ohms 149 
नाइन वोल्ट विल ड्रॉप एट स्टैंडर्ड करंट फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट पॉइंट वन फोर नाइन नाइन वोल्ट वी कैन से वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी मिली वोल्ट विल ड्रॉप अक्रॉस दिस रेजिस्टेंस दिस इज कैलिब्रेटेड मेटीरियल दिस इज कैलिब्रेटेड रेजिस्टेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल एट टू हंड्रेड एम्पेयर इट विल गिव फिफ्टी मिली वोल्ट और वी कैन से एट थ्री एम्पेयर इट विल गिव दिस वोल्टेज वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी मिलियन मिली वोल्ट सो दिस वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी मिली वोल्ट आर रेफरेंस when this voltage will go to processor as a feedback this voltage always because it is very low value this voltage are amplified using operational amplifier to make it usable 0.149 volt are applied to some op amp so this operational amplifier will boost this voltage will amplify this voltage and it will come 1.499 volt we applied this voltage the dropped voltage when the circuit is working good this compressor motor is working excellently that means it will receive 149 millivolt will drop across this resistance and this voltage will apply to operation amplifier this operation amplifier will amplify this voltage to make it some usable for example it is amplifying this voltage it is boosting up for example we can say it will amplify 10 times when the microcontroller will, will read this voltage as a feedback it will become to know that the compressor is good in the software it is mentioned that at the drive pulse if it will receive 1.49 volt so it will become to know the circuit is good now we we will go another situation for example the compressor is stuck and this resistance will decrease xl inductive reactance will decrease because the motor cannot move and it will try to move the rotor it will not move and it will reduce its resistance for example this is 50 ohm when it is 50 ohm we have 300 volt we have 300 volt and 50 ohm this resistance and 0.05 ohm this resistance so the amount of current is 5.994 in second condition we have 5.994 ampere current before this it was 2.998 now the new current value is 5.994 ampere so we have 5.994 ampere current how much voltage will drop at this resistance 5 ohm resistance now the voltage drop across this resistance this shunt resistance will become 0.2997 volt 299 millivolt with same ratio the new drop voltage are 0.2997 when it will amplified it will become 2.997 volt at normal working condition it was 1.499 volt but when the compressor is stuck it is stopped it is not moving and the circuit is applying pulse to move the circuit the decreased resistance current will increase the current will increase the voltage drop across this shunt will increase so we can say it is a measurement line now this line is giving 0.2997 volt and this voltage are applied here after amplification it will go to microcontroller and microcontroller will determine that there is over current might be it will cut this drive that there is over current and might be it will display some error code that there is over current so this is a very useful item shunt resistance for example if the compressor winding is open our connection is disconnected the microcontroller applied this pulse to this igbt after pulse it have to check this feedback if the compressor is open then the circuit is open compressor for example the compressor lead is open it is not it will not complete the circuit no current will flow no voltage drop will occur across this and it will show the compressor error that the compressor is not drawing the current after giving this pulse this voltage 300 volt will apply to this compressor so it have to move it have to produce inductive reactance for the motor for the 
I am showing just only one winding. It is just only for idea how the circuit is working. Either it is in welding machine, either it is in power supply. The working pr principle is same. The dropped voltage across this shunt resistance, this current measurement resistance are amplified through this error amplifier to make it usable and then it will apply to microcontroller and microcontroller will know either the compressor is open because it have to check the amount of voltage drop across this shunt this resistance microcontroller in the source code in the software it is predefined that if the compressor is good and it is taking this voltage so it will say the compressor is good and the motor is working the motor is spinning if the motor is stalled motor is stuck it is not moving the inductive reactance the resistance of the motor will drop DC resistance might be it is 1 ohm 2 ohm but at high frequency for example at working when it is working at 53 hertz its resistance is this if it is working at 150 hertz so according to this formula its inductive reactance will increase because the frequency will increase inductance is the same either we increase frequency or inductor inductor is same the motor is same we are increasing the frequency when the frequency will increase at that time might be at 50 hertz it is just for example at 50 hertz it is taking 100 ohm at 150 hertz for example, it is 300 ohm because if we increase frequency, XL will increase. inductive reactance, XL will increase. So this is XL, this is impedance. It is a equal resistance of this winding at 300 volt divided by 300.05 ohm, this shunt resistance. So it will 0.998 at 53 hertz, the system will draw 2.998 ampere. When the frequency will increase, the system current will drop at 0.9998 ampere. Why? Because the resistance is increased due to increase in XL, due to increase in frequency. Frequency, frequency increased, XL increased. So system current, the current will drop at 0.998 ampere. The compressor is same, just only this microcontroller increased its frequency. So with this voltage, multiply it 0 0.05, 0 0.049 and after amplification it will 0.49 at its input. It will measure and it will become to know. It knows that it is driving at 153 hertz and in the software, in the program, it is mentioned that at 153 hertz if it will receive this voltage 0.49 volt that means the circuit is working good if it will receive the voltage out of this level most of the time in the software it is mentioned the range for example this 1.49 volt if it is will receive 1.4 volt to 1.6 volt that means it is good working window and if it will drive from above or lower limit, it will say there is a fault in the circuit. So this, this is the phenomena, this is the use of any shunt resistance. I hope so this video is informative for you. If it is informative, give a thumb up. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment box. I will wait for your suggestion, for your comment. And if you have not subscribed my channel, subscribe it. If you want to watch my videos in future, please, please press bell icon button. And if the video is good, hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.